This is not to say that student loan debt is not a problem. It is a problem. We have a terrible system of higher education in our country. That, that doesn't even take into account the indoctrination that happens in these schools. But we do have this problem with how expensive college is. We tell children that if you want to be a professional, you have to go to college. We tell them, oh, be financially responsible. Here's how you use a credit card. Here's how you spend under, live under your means, live within your means. And we also tell them that it's okay to accrue sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to go to college. They come out of college, they have to get an apartment, they have a first-time job at a starting salary, and they also have these incredible student loan payments that it takes them decades to pay off. This is not setting up our young people for success. This is a problem, and we should figure out how to solve this problem, because it's not the only way. It's not even kind of close to a good way for colleges to operate and for people to have to pay for college when college is this expensive. And so here are a couple of suggestions on how to solve this. First of all, not everyone should go to college. College and university is not what it used to be, where if you go to a liberal arts school, you come out with a very cerebral academic understanding of philosophy and the arts and world history and literature. That's not what it is. People go to party. People go to get an artificial sense of independence outside of their, their parents' house. And this is what this is what happens. I mean, they're they're not coming out educated. They're not coming out even able to get a job when they get these gender studies and queer theory type degrees. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you come out with an art history degree, like what are you what do you think you're going to do? So not everyone should go to college and there shouldn't be any stigma on that because it's not a place of it's not a place of education. In some cases, it's a place, a, a, a place to train for a career, but only in certain professions, not all of them. So we need to get away from encouraging everyone to go to college while colleges are still like this. The other thing that we need to do is we need to end the federal subsidies for student loan debt. There was a study done by the Federal Reserve that found that each dollar of federally subsidized student loans that, that colleges accept or receive increases tuition by 60 cents. So what did I say before? I said that colleges will raise tuition if they know that the federal government will always pay back the debt that students own. And this is proved by the study that said when, a, when, a, when the federal government subsidizes student loans, for every dollar that they receive of that, they increase tuition by 60 cents. We have to end federal subsidies for student loans. Colleges will not charge this amount of money if they don't think they're going to be paid back for it. And students won't go to college if they can't afford that. And so the free market will then work to bring the cost of college down to a point that, sure, the colleges might still make money, but students and families will still be able to afford it. It's actually a fairly simple solution that Shocker relies on the free market to balance things out. The other thing that we should do is we should tax non-taxable university endowments. Universities have endowments that would blow your mind there's so much money. We're talking tens of millions, sometimes billion-dollar endowments. And donations to this are non-taxable, and you can invest it. Universities can invest these endowments to increase the money, and it, that's not taxed either. When they're operating, especially when they're operating as radical leftist indoctrination centers, they certainly should, their, their non-taxable university endowments should be taxed. If we do these things, then we will be much closer to solving the student loan debt crisis, and we wouldn't be making it worse, which is what Biden is going to be doing if he pretends to hand people free things, but really increases inflation, all as part of the transition, you know, increases inflation and gives money from taxpayers who didn't go to college to irresponsible rich people who did go to college and don't want to pay for it. Don't fall for Biden's nonsense. Don't fall for Biden's lies.